Mission 6, Lesson 15, where our student objective is to express money amounts given in various forms as decimal numbers. So, what we're doing today, money, 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 money. All right, so we're going to be looking at money and then how that relates to decimals and then maybe adding some money up and putting it in decimal form. Yeah, let's take a look here at an example together. Now, first off, we need to review the value of money. We should be familiar with this, just, but just in case we're not, let's take a quick review. So a penny is worth one cent. A nickel is worth five cents. A dime is worth 10 cents, and a quarter is worth 25 cents. And how many cents make up a dollar? That's right, a hundred cents make up a dollar. So, knowing that, what really is a penny? So if we had one cent, how much of a dollar is that? Well, that is, a penny is going to be one one hundredth, of a dollar or one one hundredth, like that in decimal form, right? A nickel is five one hundredths or decimal zero, five hundredths. A dime is ten hundredths because it's ten cents. And we could rewrite that as a decimal as such, 10 hundredths. And then a quarter is 25 cents, and that is 25 hundredths. And so I'm going to write it, 0 and 25 hundredths, like such. All right. So knowing that, and hey, what would a dollar equal? Well, a a straight up dollar would equal just like that, right? One whole with zero left over it was, if it was an even dollar. So if we're given a problem like this, which says, hey, we have two dollars, two dimes, 15 pennies, and we want to add that with three dollars, two quarters, four dimes. Well, let's do that. And first, let's do that by renaming each of these in decimal form. So each of the values. So if I have $2 in decimal form, that's going to be 2 decimal zero, 00. If I have two dimes, that's 20 cents or 20 hundredths. So we're going to like this. If I have 15 pennies, well, that's 15 cents or 15 hundredths. Just like that. And then if I have $3, that's 3.00. Kind of running out of space here, but that's okay. If I have two quarters, that's 25, 50 cents. So that's 50 hundredths. So like such. And then if I have four dimes, well, that's 40 cents. And that's 40 hundredths. Like such. So that's, I rewrote my values there all in decimal form. And now all I need to do is add them. So I like to add my like units first. So for instance, well, my, my dollars, let's change colors here just so we can see a little better. So my dollars, I had $2 and $3, right? So two plus $3. So I know that's $5. And again, you don't have to do it this way. You can just line them all up and add them if you'd like, but this is how I like to. Whoop. So I've two dollars. Just seeing what I can do easy here. I've I had two dimes and four dimes, so I had twenty cents and forty cents. Well, twenty plus forty is sixty cents. Or sixty hundredths. Like that. I'm just crossing them off because I used them. And then I have, well, I have pennies, fifteen cents, and then quarters. So fifteen cents. And then 50 cents. 
And I'm running out of space, but we'll make it work. All I'm going to do now is add all these together, right? So if I have, again, notice how I lined up my decimals, just like we've talked about adding decimals. We just lined them all up. So we our decimals lined up across the board. Now I can just add them. Zero plus zero plus five plus zero is five. Zero plus six plus one plus five. Well, six plus one is seven. And seven plus five is 12. So I put the two. I have my decimal, and I carry the 1. And now I have 1 plus 5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 6. So I have, and then that's it. And now written as money, $6.25. So we're just using what we know about decimals and decimal values and how to write decimals and those decimal numbers, and we're just associating that with money and money values now, and then being asked to, hey, if we had, we're had, we given a bunch of money and we had to add it up, let's do that. So that's what we're doing for today's lesson. We're going to be adding some money, some moolah, some, some changeo. Have fun and go make some money.